So it looks like the USMNT is losing yet another dual national to arch rivals Mexico. And in this video, we're going to break down Julian Arau's decision to choose Mexico over the USA, whether or not it's a good choice for him career-wise, and then, of course, what that choice means for the USA going forward. So without further ado, let's get to it. So yes, Julian Rao has decided to follow the footsteps of his friend Alvarez, David Ochoa, and leave the USA national team to go and represent Mexico. Now, why is this happening? Well, the Julian Rao basically came out and said that, in a nutshell, uh, Mexico is in his heart, and that's why he chose it. And I kind of feel for him there. I you know I wish him all the best, first of all. I and have no harm or bad words to say about Julian Rao's decision to represent Mexico. I think he seems like a pretty cool dude. Um, his interview with Tactical Manager, I was like, all right, this kid's pretty cool. Uh, when I interviewed Sebastian Linget, he also spoke highly of Julian Rao and the potential that this kid has. Um, so, yeah, no, nothing bad really to say about him. But Mexico is in his heart. That's fine. That That's cool. If he feels like he has a better career option, a career path with the Mexican national team, that's great too. He's a, one of the best, if not one of the top three best players in the LA Galaxy currently this season for a while now. Um, I think he's been playing consistently well. He obviously has a lot of potential. We've all been raving about him as US 17 soccer fans, and we can't just cancel that hype we have because now he's not playing for us. He's still got the hype. Now it's going to be against us. And when he comes to play against us, I would love to see how he does uh, against wingers like Pulisic and Reyna and even Sergino Dust. Um, but let's also look about not just the, you know, the family part of this, the, the atmosphere of his, his home life and just the tradition, his culture, his background, not just that. Let's look about the playing time that I think is all the, another big reason as to why he chose to play for Mexico. If you look at the Mexican ra roster, can't fucking talk, I'm rusty. Um, there really is not a lot of potential like young prospects uh, in the right back position. And if I'm wrong, for you Mexican fans out there, I'm just an outsider. I don't see what you guys see on the daily. I don't follow your team like that. But this is from what I see. Um, <laughs> Jorge Sanchez, Luis Rodriguez, who... Uh, Luis Rodriguez is in his 30s, so he's not any future type. Jorge Sanchez is a 23-year-old um, right back who I don't know much about, but he seems to be a player that a lot of Mexican fans like. Miguel Ayun also is a big... Big player for Mexico, but he's also not getting any younger. And other outside of those guys, for me at least, I don't see many other good young up-and-coming prospects in that position that I think Julian Rao will fit perfectly. He will slide right into this team, break his way in, and I hope he does well for himself. I really hope he gets some stars. He gets to become one of the best uh, right backs for Mexico because that's just that that competition against. Us is going to make us better. Does that make sense? Like, if their if the opposition is better, then eventually we will be better or as good. Um, hopefully better, by the way. So now that he's gone, um, he was a player that all, I think a lot of us were, you know, writing in the 2026 World Cup. He could be one of our right-back options. Now, right-back is a position that I think is very stacked. You could say it's stacked, or you could say it's not stacked, because a lot of these guys are not proven yet, so... I see both arguments there. But let's take a look right now. With the departure of Julian Rao, how is it going to be in our position of right backs for the USA national team? Obviously, we got Sergino Des as the number one undisputed right back, at least in my opinion. I think he is the best and most skillful player we have at our disposal. Defending wise, not the best, but still attacking wise, big, big threat going forward. We also got Joe Scali, who's kind of lighting up right now. In the Bundesliga with Borussia Mönchengladbach, he's looking really good. I haven't followed him. I have not followed him too much, but I've seen a lot of good stuff from him, a lot of highlights, Twitter stuff. Um, you know what? Your boy Drew's gonna be watching you, Scally. We also got Reggie Cannon from FC Dallas, who's now playing in Boa Vista in at the Portuguese league. Who I feel like he was pretty solid in FC Dallas. Now he's become again still pretty solid as well in the Portuguese league. I would hope to see him become uh, get a step up. To a, a stronger team in, the, in that league or in a stronger team in another league elsewhere in Europe. But for right now, I think it's pretty good. I think he's, he's put in some pretty good, solid performances with the USA as of recently. We've also, also got a Mr. Brian Reynolds, who I think a lot of he's kind of fallen off a bit. I feel like there's not that much hype over him right now as there was a couple months ago. He's strung a little bit over there at Roma. He's still young, though. He's got a lot of time to flourish into himself. So. Not panicking there. We got Shaq Moore as well, who's come on to the team and looked 
really sharp, really good, attacking and defense-wise. Not the best that we have, but still a great player to have in our pool. DeAndre Yellen again, another uh, veteran uh, right back that we could have at our disposal. So it's it's pretty, I would say it's pretty crowded there in that right back position. Whether or not you think these guys are proven yet to be starters, um, the the truth is that there's a bunch of guys here trying to battle it out, trying to all try to better themselves so they can become a starter or become the second starter behind Sergino Dest. It's a very big competition there, and I feel like Julian Rao is not going to have that big competition in terms of guys around his age who could be a future prospect right back starter in Mexico, as you would here in the USA. There's a lot of young talent here for the USA in that position. Not so much, at least to me, from the outsider's perspective in the Mexico national team. So I think that also played a part in his decision. So I don't know. I want to see how he does. And I definitely want to see how he does against wingers uh, from the USA. So that's going to be a really fun, fun game to watch eventually when it happens. Probably, I don't know, next qualifying round. But not much else really to say on that matter. I really hope that Julian Rao does not fall into the trap of once you choose Mexico, you start playing like crap and just kind of fall off like Efrain Alvarez or David Ochoa more recently, who hasn't looked the best since he chose Mexico. So, Aral, be careful for that. But would I say it's a big hit for us? Yes. Would I say it's the end of all times? No. I, I think we're fine in the position. Like I said, we had a bunch of players I listed earlier that I think kind of makes up for the fact that we lost a pretty good, solid uh, right back. But I think we'll be, able to be okay, guys. So don't panic. In fact, instead of panicking, subscribe and let me know your thoughts down below on this move to Mexico from Julian Rao. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Mexican fans, if you're watching, let me know what you guys think about the acquisition that you guys just got. So without further ado, I can't say that. I'm actually ending the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.